Yellow Finance Tech Editor Dan Halley has been tracking this story for us. Dan. That's right, Brian. There's a number of different uh, kind of elements here that are coming to a head with regards to Apple's App Store. The newest uh, or at least biggest hurdle that the company is facing is the Digital Markets Act, and that's out of the European Union. Uh, and essentially what it's going to do uh, is basically clamp down on the likes of Apple, uh, as well as Google uh, and Amazon. But uh, when it comes to Apple, it's going to essentially uh, eviscerate the App Store model that they have set up and have relied on for years. Uh, and really what this will do will say to Apple, look, you can't force companies to use your payment system. There should be a, a way for them to use their own payment systems. And there should be a way for companies to get their apps onto your phone without having to go through the App Store. Now, uh, this is something that we're seeing from not just the EU. Uh, we're seeing it here in the US discussions of that, uh, South Korea. Uh, and currently, Apple is incurring fines of 5 million euros a week uh, in the Netherlands because they haven't changed the ability for dating apps to offer their own payment mechanism. Uh, Apple says that they're willing to do something along those lines, but the app developers have to completely redesign their apps and resubmit them. Uh, and uh, Dutch authorities are saying that that's just too onerous for those app developers. And then finally, to just take a look at how much of an impact this would have on Apple, really the, the services business makes a uh, 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 68.4 billion uh, as part of its 2021 total revenue. That's out of 365.8 billion uh, overall. So it's no small chunk of, uh, chunk, chunk of change. Uh, and though they don't break out the amount that they actually make out of app store sales, uh, it's expected to be uh, in the tens of millions per year. So really a big hit to them uh, if they have to change this globally. And it seems as though that it's finally coming to a head and they may have to. And, and what about the effect, not just on them, but you know, usually when you have these kinds of um, rulings and changes, there are then implications for competitors as well. So what do we know about what this means for Google, the video game industry, other tech companies? Yeah, I mean, look, if, if Apple's going down, Google's going down with it, right? They, they have the exact same model, uh, save for, you know, one element where Google says you can sideload or which is installing apps outside of the Google Play Store. Uh, but they give you a, a warning, basically, saying that, you know, there could be uh, malicious apps uh, can be installed in this way, which really, you know, turns people off. And uh, regulators say, look, that, that's just basically, you know, a dog whistle to say don't install apps outside of the Play Store. Uh, you know, both sides have made, uh, and as, as for the video game industry, the same thing goes, right? Like the only way to get the apps on your PlayStation uh, or your Xbox is to use their uh, exclusive stores. Uh, you can make purchases outside uh, of those, but you have to still get a fee to PlayStation or Xbox in some way. Uh, and, you know, I, I do see this being a, a larger issue for uh, those industries, but you know, specifically for for Apple and Google, uh, I think this is really a, a big issue that is finally, uh, as I said, coming to a head. Uh, and I don't see their their models lasting as long as they may have hoped a few years ago.